everyone. Welcome back to another Sun Devil Learning Labs episode. Today we're going to be working on word problems for third grade math. My name is Ms. Chismar, so go ahead and grab your whiteboard markers and we'll get started. So as always, we're gonna get started with just a brief warm up. We're gonna be practicing the commutative property of multiplication. Just a quick review. That means if I have two times four and I switch the numbers around, it means the same thing as four times two. So we're gonna practice that right now. So I have six times five is the same as, if we just switch the numbers around, it would be five times six. And then I have three times eight is equal to something times three. Again, we're just gonna switch the numbers around and we're gonna have eight times three. So that is how we use the commutative property of multiplication. Now we're gonna move on to some of the word problems. Most, um, these are mainly division, but there's a couple of multiplication ones thrown in there, but we're gonna work through the steps on how to solve them, and we're gonna solve them a couple of different ways. So go ahead and get your whiteboard out, and we'll start with this one. There are four loaves of bread in each row. How many loaves of bread are there in five rows? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna underline important pieces of information. So there are four loaves of bread in a row, and there are five rows. Those are the important pieces of information that we need to know about. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna decide is this multiplication or is this division? I think this one is multiplication because it's asking us for a total. It's not asking us to make equal groups or to, do, or to take things and split them apart. It's asking for us to put them together. So we're gonna use multiplication for this problem. Now to solve this problem, I'm going to draw an array because it's giving me rows and it's giving me rows and columns. So it makes the most sense to just draw it out as an array, write the multiplication sentence and then solve. So there are four loaves of bread in each row and there are five rows. So I'm gonna start by drawing my first row of four and I'm gonna do that five times. So now I have five rows of four. I'm going to write my multiplication sentence. Four times five equals what? To solve this, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can skip count. You can count the number of rows. You can write a repeated addition sentence. I'm going to skip count by fours because that's how our array is set up. So I'm going to go four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. So we know now that four times five is equal to 20. Now we're gonna move on to our next problem. So Fred has 10, 10 pairs. He puts two pairs in each basket. How many baskets does he have? So again, we're gonna underline important pieces of information. So we know he has 10 pairs and he puts two pairs in each basket. So. Now we have to decide, is this multiplication or is this division? Um, because we are taking a whole number and making it into smaller groups, so we are going to be using a division. So I'm actually going to draw this problem out. So I'm gonna have my baskets. And I'm just gonna start with two, so I have We'll start with two and see how that does. So we're gonna put two pairs in each basket until we hit 10. So we have two, four, six, eight, and 10. So that's two pairs in each. I'm gonna draw the rest of my baskets. And now I'm going to count how many baskets I have. But first I'm going to write my division sentence. I have 10 pairs all together and I'm gonna make them into small groups of two. So now how many groups do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five baskets. So that means I have five groups. Now we're gonna move on. So I'm just gonna read this one out loud. I'm gonna have you guys try this on your own um, and then I'm gonna go over it. So Miss McCarty has 18 stickers. She puts two stickers on each homework paper and has no more left. So how many stickers did, she, or how many papers did she put stickers on? She puts two stickers on each paper. So go ahead and pause this video, try it out on your whiteboard. You can solve it however you choose. And then when you press play, I'm gonna go over it. So you can go ahead and do that now. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and start solving it. So we know that she has 18 stickers all together and she puts two stickers on each homework page. So that's our important information. And then she has no more left. So she used all 18 stickers. So I'm gonna take my stamps and I'm gonna draw that out. First, I'm gonna write my division sentence. 18 divided by two equals what? So I have 18 stickers and I divided them up into two stickers for each paper. So how many papers did I put stickers on? I'm gonna use my stamp and I'm gonna do that up now. So I'm gonna skip count by two until I hit 18. So there's one or two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. So now I'm just gonna circle those so that we know how many groups that we have. So there's the first page, second piece of paper, third, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Who so it take, she put two stickers on each piece of paper. And so she put stickers on nine pieces of paper. Um, if you did not solve the problem the same way I did, but you still got the correct answer, that is okay. I want you to make sure that you're solving the problems in a way that makes sense to you. If you have a method that works for you and is giving you the correct answer every single time, then you feel free to use that method because it's what you're comfortable with. Um, if you are still struggling, then I would suggest using the methods that I'm doing because I can explain them to you a little bit more um, than you just kind of going off of what you think would be best. So it's totally up to you. You can do your own method, but if you are having a little bit of trouble, I would recommend sticking with the method that I am working with you guys on. So with that being said, I'm going to clear my screen and move on to our next problem. So again, I'm going to read it out loud. I'm going to give you some important information. You're going to pause this video, try it on your own, and then we'll um, come back together and try it as a group. So. 16 action figures are arranged equally on two shelves. How many action figures are on each shelf? So let's look at our key information. We have 16 action figures. They're arranged equally on two shelves. So what does that word mean, equally? That means something. So go ahead and pause this video and then press play whenever you're ready to start. So we had 16 action figures and they are split into two equal groups. So that means we're going to be using division. So I'm gonna write my sentence out. 16 divided by two equals what? So I'm gonna make an array for this one because it's giving me two groups on the shelf. And so we're making two equal groups. So I'm going to put one sticker on each row until I hit 16. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now I have two rows with equal amounts of stars on them. So now let's count and see how many we have in each group. This first row I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the second row, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that they are equal, which is good. That's what we wanted. And so that means that if you took 16 action figures and you arranged them into two equal groups, that means you're going to have eight action figures on each shelf. Go ahead and try again with our next problem. I think we only have one or two more left. So I am just going to read this one out loud. I'm gonna let you guys figure out what information is important and um, what kind of problem this is and then solve it on your own. So I'm going to read it to you and then you can pause the video and get started. Corey checks out two books a week from the library. How many weeks will it take him to check out a total of 14 books? So go ahead and give it a try. And now I'm going to go ahead and go through the entire process. So he checks out two books a week. How many weeks will it take him to or how many weeks will it take him to check out a total of 14 books? So we have 14 books. I think this is a division problem because we have to split two books um, into a certain number of days. So we have to make it into groups. So I have 14 books. 
and he checked out two books a week. So that means that I'm going to draw. I'm actually going to use stamps, and I'm going to do two books, and each two books that I draw are going to represent one week. So here's the first week, two. Second week is four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. So now I'm going to circle this. So we have one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five, six, and seven. So it's going to take Corey seven weeks to check out 14 books because he checks out two every week for seven weeks. All right. All right, so this is going to be our last problem. Again, I want you guys to try it out on your own, and then I'm just going to read it to you, and we'll go over it all together at the end. So Jasmine puts 18 hats away. She puts an equal number of hats on three shelves. How many hats are on each shelf? So go ahead and pause this video, give it a try, um, use whatever method works best for you, go through the process, and then when you press play, I'm going to go ahead and go over it. So I'm going to underline important pieces of information. So first, Jasmine puts 18 hats away. She puts an equal number of hats, equal number, it's a big word, on three shelves. So how many are on each shelf? So I'm going to use an array for this one because I can use the shelves as rows. I'm just going to put one star in each row until I hit 18. So here's one row, two rows, and three rows. So I have three stars, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So now we're going to double check to make sure I have an equal number of hats on each shelf and I have three shelves total. So I have one, two, three shelves. Now let's double check our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six on the first row. One, two, three, four, five, six in the second row. And one, two, three, four, five, six in the third row. So we have an equal number. That's good. Let's go ahead and write our sentence here. 18 divided by three, because they're on three shelves, equals what? Well, we just found out that there are six hats on each shelf. So 18 divided by three equals six. All right. So that's going to be all of our word problems for today. Um, I really encourage you guys to check out the learning guide because it's going to give you some extra resources um, to practice word problems. And I also really want you guys to practice your times tables, just because if you know your times tables for twos, threes, and fours, that'll help you when you're doing word problems and it'll help you when you're doing multiplication and division. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you come back because we have a few more lessons left of Sun Devil Learning Labs. And I'll see you next time. Bye.